The third annual Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation field hockey event took place. The event featured two field hockey games, community members versus parents of alumni and varsity players, while the second game featured Hiller's varsity field hockey versus Hiller's alumni. Emma Flaxman is in the middle. Head of the organization, Stephen Benford, mentioned that the event continues to grow and more participants are competing in the games. The, the, the community team is 20% uh, bigger than last year. The alumni team has doubled uh, since we started the event. Uh, so we've had strong community support, strong program support. We've got the fire chief, a couple of police officers, a firefighter, principal at the high school, Evan Bishop is a big draw. Um, it, it, the community side team, in fact, they've got an advantage out here. Look over my shoulder, the community team has more players. The parents of the program uh, came up a little bit light this year. Uh, they, they have a couple of players in late injuries. Um, David Simone has a, a knee sprain and some of the other parents are also injured, so they're, they're running lean. It's going to be, a, I think, a battle of attrition out there. That looks like the, the, alum, the alumni, sorry, the, the community team is up one to nothing, but I think it's going to be a long second half for the, uh, for the parents. Steven mentioned that 15 million people are at risk of anaphylaxis or an allergic reaction that causes the body to shut down. And the goal of the Keep Smiling for Abby organization is to raise awareness and fund research. The organization has been working and has helped fund the Weiss Institute in Boston to further their mission of stopping anaphylaxis. You've heard me talk about it. The guys at the Weiss Institute, they may be here now, but I didn't see them earlier. There were about four or five people coming from the Weiss Institute. Uh, they're here. They, they were planning to be here. They were here at our May event. They're making incredible strides on Project Abbey. They're advancing the, the technology and histamine sensors. They're advancing the sensitivity of respiratory detection. The first game between the community and the parents was two 15-minute halves. Hopkinton police officer Aaron O'Neill put the ball over the goalie's head for the first goal. Then later in the second half, a good backhander from Scott Jurassic. He's having a tough time clear that out of the circle. Oh, great goalie play. Let's oh! score! The community adds another one very late in the action and took the game three to nothing. Score! Now it's three nothing. In the alumni versus students game, both teams had high hopes for the victory. Are you ready for this game against the alumni? Yes. yes. <laughs> Have you been working hard to get ready for this today? Yeah, I mean, a lot of off-season training. I've been running. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, could you talk a little bit about uh, why you're here and what this is for today? We're here for the Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation and to fundraise for a teammate of ours who passed away a few years back. Yeah, she would have just graduated this past year, so it's to raise money for research in anaphylaxis and to keep her memory alive in the town. Yeah. All right, and uh, how'd the high school season go? It went well. We made it to the tournament, which is always really good. You have to win at least half of your games to get there, so we definitely had a strong season. Yeah, we did pretty good in the TVLs, too, so it was a good year, and we're hoping to come back again with a strong year this year. All right, any trash talk you want to say to, towards the alumni? We're going down. <laughs> we're going to win. This is going to be first year varsity takes home the win. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of returning players. Oh, yeah. So. Lots of it. What's your score prediction? <laughs> I'm going to say 10 nothing. Varsity winning. <laughs> Ready for today's matchup? Um, yeah, definitely ready. We have to do a playing game, so our better kids will be going up against the varsity, which I think will help us out overall. Yeah, I think we're ready. We're pretty prepared. Hopefully, we'll win. All right, have you been uh, training for this game at all? <laughs> Not so much. I've been training more. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, so, do you have anything that you would like to say to the varsity team? Any trash talk you'd like to say to them? <laughs> Um, tell them to watch out on the field. <laughs> we're gonna kick butt. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we have a score prediction. Oh man, Ooh, I don't know. We're like five nothing. Yeah, <laughs> five nothing. Early in the game, varsity captain Maggie Dolan puts the only goal of the game in, and the Hillers varsity take down the alumni one to nothing. Oh, oh, score! 
A good time was had by all and a lot of funds raised towards anaphylaxis awareness and research.